Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? Detective Sam, not mind readers! Hey, maybe we should ask Hugh Bliss! Mind readers, that's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors? No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this had it this morning. That's it. Morning. The ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalafinkapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biv is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the Commissioner. The Commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, Commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat! The Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The Commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines! Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon! Oh, feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too! We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left! You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the Blister of Tranquility, find out what you Bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? Well, well. Aren't you Teddy Bear? Once upon a time, but no longer. Who are you now? I've gone back to being Harry Mole Man. Or should I say I've gone forward? Prismatology has helped me find a new me where the old one used to be. Are you still a notorious criminal? Or an obscure one, like Kevin Mitnick. No, I've repostulated my lemma since Prismatology found me. It's the straight and narrow for Harry Mole Man from here on out. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but Prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. Color does! Harry Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again. 
or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. Looks like it may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Well, I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has taught me... Yeah, yeah, we get it. So what are you doing here? I monitor the visitor's center and answer people's questions. Security guard, huh? Docent! I'm a docent! What sights should we see while we're here on the moon? Have you seen the lunar lander over there? We passed by it, yes. How about the blister of tranquility? Nope. Oh, well, goodness. You should definitely see that. Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. See you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! What's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <coughs> What's with the chart? I bet it shows how Justin Timberlake is descended from the moon people. This chart outlines Hugh Bliss's ingenious master plan to hypnotize everyone on Earth through connections with the U.S. government, the Internet, and the Toy Mafia. I was close. Weren't you in charge of the Toy Mafia? You're right, I was. I wonder why I didn't know anything about this at the time. What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see. Indestructible magical talisman. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it! You might break it! Oops, it's not held down very securely. Here, Max, hold this. In your hands, but whatever. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. We understand. Okay, go ahead. Where are we headed now, Sam? Terra Firma.
Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people! The people! Are you feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are! We just got the best job ever! We are the Queen of Canada. I always thought Rush was the Queen of Canada. <coughs> queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease hinting at a long-forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We... we answered a classified ad. Yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no! But we took two quarters of French in college and we spelled color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States! You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yes, yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. If you're Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. This afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. Sam, how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens shopkeepers and plays havoc with ATMs. Our most important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. How can you possibly spruce up Canada? It's a paradise year-round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. See you later, Your Majesty. You may go. Sybil must have a cold or something. No kidding! Did she say she thought she was a jar of spaghetti sauce? What color is your favorite dream? Page 24. Here's an oldie but a goodie. How many licks does it take to get to the scent to the center of your true bliss? Page 325. Emetics by Hugh Bliss. Read it today.
Sam, without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. And we're gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason, remember? Jimmy, up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean we, White Rabbit? President and assistant destroy internet. Assistant? Reality 2.0. Up-and-coming new internet sensation. Newspapers are always a little behind in their technology coverage. Well, I'll be. The gumball machine actually contains gumballs. Hey, boss. Oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. He's my son. You're your own mother? There are no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes. Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. Mind telling us how you came to be a woman? Did you use lasers or just do it the old-fashioned way? Are you sassing me? Boy, I will whoop your behind so hard you won't be able to see straight. But I don't see out of my behind. You will after I get through with you. But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Come on, Bosco! We were only- You just cost yourself dessert, mister! So, how are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey! Now, I'm not gonna lie. I like them bosomy. Oh, Max! You take after your five, bud. Okay, you just cross the line, pal! Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people to worry about right now. You know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels. And we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money. So how'd you like to buy something from us for a change? Okay. Do you have any copies of the uncensored 1982 Armana Santi lookalike contest on Betamax? Nope. Oh, well, that's the only thing I really need, honey. Need, honey. We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One! Do you have any completed artificial personality disorder symptoms forms? Mm-hmm. You do? Mm-hmm. Wow, that really would have come in handy earlier. Do you have any video of a chicken eating cow manure for laughs? Mm-hmm. No way! Do you have any global meatball sandwich positioning systems? Mm-hmm! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! 
Do you have any three foot by two foot cue cards that say don't vote for me? Mm-hmm. What? I can't believe this! Do you have any instant win cheat codes for Reality 2.0? Mm-hmm. Oh, why didn't we ask before? Do you have Hugh Bliss tied up back there? Mm -hmm. uh. Hey, I was on a roll. What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker, and it's just what just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion? <laughs> you crazy, fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the fool? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. Never mind. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. <laughs>